So, did you see Simple Plan released a new song with State Champs and We the Kings? Oh, yeah. I saw it up on YouTube. Though, I've mostly been listening to the new Blink-182 album. Oh, yeah. I, I bought that album, and I've been really enjoying it. I- Hey! You two would make a great couple! Ew. When it comes to crushes, I believe there are two kinds of people. Oh. My. Gosh. Senpai noticed me. He just makes me want to roar. I wonder how much he thinks about me. I should run him a waff water. And then make it anonymous. Are you the day I got my rash removed? Cause you're 10 out of 10. In this regard, I am a very awkward person when it comes to crushes. On the outside, I'm comic collected, but on the inside... <laughs> and that's why my mom thought I was gay. Wait, why? Oh, well, you never seem to show any interest in guys, so... Mom, I've had crushes since kindergarten. Even the fox from Robin Hood had an effect on me. So with that being said, here are some of my embarrassing crush stories. Keyword, some. And also, for the sake of privacy, I'm going to draw the people I talk about as childhood cartoon characters I had a crush on. In the spring of my freshman year of high school, I had a crush on a boy who we will call Danny. Danny was a boy who went out hunting in the big old state of Oklahoma. And here I was, watching SAO while the killers played in the background. He was basically the total opposite of me. You've never screamed Mr. Brightside at 3 a.m., and it shows. One night, we were texting, and he mentioned he liked cookie dough. So with me being the total stalker I was, I knew his birthday was the day that we were going to go to the school science fair competition. Therefore, I spent the entire day looking for an edible cookie dough recipe. I can't have him die of salmonella. And on the day of the science fair, I walked into the school with a small goodie bag of cookie dough and gave it to him. From then on, we all loaded up our science projects and boards in the school van and drove to the competition. Spoiler alert, none of us won. And after a long day of sitting around and eating overpriced soggy sandwiches, we drove back to the school. I stayed after to help my science teacher finish unloading the van, and when I pulled the last item out, I saw something heartbreaking. It was a full pile of squished cookie dough and a small goodie bag. And after seeing that, I ran to the bathroom to cry and call my mom. Now, obviously, I got over Danny. We didn't even have that much in common. However, even with this giant forehead of mine, my brain still makes the same mistakes. The second story I'm going to tell is more recent. This guy, whose name will be Ben, was a football kid, and he loved to watch all sorts of sport games. While well, I stayed up until 3 a.m. working on top-tier, high-quality, mediocre animations. So, for the first day of class, I brought cupcakes. And for the entire morning, I would lift one foot on a chair so I would be taller and hand people a cupcake. But that's when Ben walked in. Hey, do you wanna- Do, do you want a cupcake? I guess I really fell for him. And probably the worst, or possibly the best, thing about my crush with Ben was... My teacher was shipping us. Alright, we're gonna split up into partners for this project. So when I call your name, come draw somebody's name from the hat. Charlie is partnered with Anthony. Brooke drew Brandon. Shelby is partnered with Ben. However, just like Danny, Ben and I had nothing in common. So after sitting in my shame corner and listening to Hey There Delilah, I slowly got over the rejection. <laughs> but they got planes and trains and cars and <laughs> All jokes aside, if you're crushing on someone, just tell them. Even if it doesn't work out, at least you know. And you won't be sitting in the dark at 4am wondering what if. And if they like you, congratulations! And if they don't, then you just wait until the right person comes along and picks you out of everyone else in the vending machine, because you're their perfect snack. Hi, my name's Adobe Animate. Can I crash at your place tonight? 
Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. I hope you're having a good one. If you're in a relationship with someone, then I hope you guys have a good day. And if you're not in a relationship with anybody, then at least you get half off candy on Saturday. I'm working for Valentine's Day. Uh, my Valentine's Day plans are Sunday the 16th. I'm going up to see the Sonic movie. I want to watch the Sonic movie in theaters to show my support for the animators, the rigging artists, and the modelers for basically having to redo the entire Sonic character. Because, oh my lord. But I'm so glad the studio actually listened to the fans and they're, they actually changed the design. That is incredible. Also, so in the last animation, I wanted to thank you guys for over 400 subscribers, and now we're over 800. Ever since I posted that, that it's doubled. That's insane. Honestly, this entire, like ever since December, the channel has been growing like crazy, and it's, it's kind of freaking me out, but I'm also happy at the same time. So thank you guys so much for sharing the content and being here to enjoy it. And also, sorry, I forgot to record this part, but my friends, Charlie and Anthony, they helped me write the moon script, like review it, add in some jokes, and really helped me with the pace of it. And Charlie actually helped me write this entire script for this animation. And she also did the voice for the Ubu girl in this, <laughs> and she did an amazing job. I will leave a social media link to them down in the description so you can check them out and go show them love and support because they have helped me immensely. So in the meantime, I hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you guys in the next one.